Welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 4 Iron Man Edition, episode 14, where we're playing as uh, the now North American major nation of Utrecht. In our last episode, we completed our war with uh, Norway and Ireland. Uh, we didn't gain any land in the process, made merely a, a few ducats uh, in this episode. We'll uh, uh, convert and... Uh, Hopefully, uh, core a lot of our uh, newly acquired provinces from our war with Shawnee. small army there as uh, support and we'll move our principal army here a little bit more towards the interior so we've got a lot of cash on hand right now which will be ideal for plans to upgrade our ports here I'll just build some uh, manufacturers, or not manufacturers, but uh, some buildings to uh, increase our income here a little bit. And we'll start building a fleet here. Lots of events here, so I'm just going to pause it here for a second and we'll clear out the events. Uh, more taxes. I'll just take the ducats there, and we'll send him in to uh, deal with uh, the revolt. We'll just start building up our uh, fleet here.
A little expensive, but we'll go for it. Go ahead and uh, colonize Choctaw. And we got a fairly respectable fleet under construction. Go ahead and get uh, some of these missionaries to work. Increase our gain speed a bit, speed a bit here. So let's split this force up. Looks like we have some uh, superior unit types here. Just uh, split up that army there to uh, further protect the additional colonies here. Quite a substantial income at this point. I'm sort of in a position of uh, trade off whether hold on, just let me clear these events here. More ducats is always good. That uh, morale of navies would be uh, a nice one to have there. But we still don't have quite enough income. Oh, I'll just unpause it here. Still have a lot of uh, room here to grow. And I think once the fleet is completed, we'll start making uh, aims for Europe.
just build some uh Armory's here and make this where we'll recruit out of. Let's see what we have here. here. When given the option, I usually go for uh, the tax option for benign neglect. Slow the game speed down a touch. Take the stability hit and immediately boost it. And just build more of our armories. There are just some training fields here. Concentrate on 80. So our province there will sort of be our staging area. As we sort of prepare to mount our attack.
Let's get a military engineer here. Get us a little bit uh, more military power. Okay. Move the force and consolidate. We'll just make a few more naval ships. And we have some uh, free colonist spots here. Go ahead and go for Tamarora. the door here and go east. Okay, and what we'll do here is we'll just, uh, since we're ready to to invade, we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, we'll just do a quick uh, overview of the world as it stands right now. So, we've sort of secured our position in North America. Norway and Portugal are, looks like uh, they've taken former, uh, what would be modern Mexico. Spain and Brazil, and Portugal controlling the majority of uh, South America, however. Good bit of Spanish influence in Africa. And a little bit of Portuguese influence in Indonesia, and Spanish as well. That well, looks like a Interesting positioning for uh, Japan. And uh, an independent Korea. It's just a little bit different. Crimea still remains an independent nation. And uh, it seems Spain hasn't, and Spain and Russia haven't really duked it out, nor Austria. With our assistance, uh, Great Britain is slowly uh, recapturing uh, Ireland. And France remains in a relatively weakened state. So uh, we'll end this episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And in our next episode, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pretty well immediately go to war with uh, the European nation. Hopefully, uh, I'm thinking Munster if Austria doesn't get involved. Thank you for watching.